Hello, you guys. I want to come humbly before you so you can understand what the Lord is trying to tell you through me today. So I went to this church and there was a lady up there. There were several people up there. And God told me to go up to the altar with these people that were in the altar that were needing prayer. And even the pastor said, there are people out in the crowd that need to come up here and pray for these people. If that is you, come up here and pray for these people. And God nudged me, said, you need to go pray for that lady. You need to go pray for that lady. And I thought, ah, there's enough people up there, Lord. I don't need to do that. And plus, Lord, the last time I did that, the lady told me to not touch her. And this demon tried to manifest. And it looked weird in front of everybody. And, and, and I, you know, I don't, I don't. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to be in that situation again. It looked kind of weird and, you know. So I ended up not doing it. And I'm telling you, I regret it. Not only because did I not do what God asked me to do, but because... I missed out. I, I really, I really missed out. And I don't want you guys to miss out either when God asks you to do something. Because the thing is, is because the first lady that I went up and God asked me to pray for her and this demon manifested on her and said, don't touch me. Don't, don't you touch me. Don't, don't pray for me. Don't touch me. Doesn't mean that this situation would have been the same way. I could have went up there and I could have delivered some you know, I could have helped her through something. I could have helped deliver her. I could have, you know, showed the church how it's done. I could have, I, I, you know, she could have blessed me. You know, maybe we could have ended up being friends. I don't know. But I missed out on that. And I'll never know now. I don't know. Maybe God will give me another chance. But I'll never know now. And, um... And I've had brothers and sisters on their YouTube channels. I've also had brothers and sisters call me up and say, God wants me to do A, B, C, or D. And then they'll call me up later or I'll see later that they're not doing what God has asked them to do either. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, it's got me really concerned. It's got me concerned. Not with whether we're going to heaven or hell. I don't think I'm going to hell because I didn't pray for that lady. But I'm telling you what, Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. So when God says, go do something and you don't do it, how can you say you really love God in that moment? I'm not saying you don't love God in general. I'm saying in that moment. And I know that's hard words and I know that stings to the core it does for me too, but this is what God is saying. Brothers and sisters, when he says do something, do it. Not only because you love him, which should be first and foremost, I mean, hello, and then because we are going to get blessed for that. And so is that other person. We can't just say the sinner's prayer and then we're saved, and then we're good to go. God wants to do more with us. And we are all expected to go out and spread the gospel. And I know a lot of people who struggle with that. They, they, they think that it's just okay to do the bare minimum. It's not. It's not okay for God to tell me to go pray for that lady and to not do it. It's not okay for us to do that. And I think as a body of Christ, we need to work on that. And I think the Lord is, is telling us. It's not about your works. It's about you obeying my commands. It is about love. But how can we say we love Jesus if we're not willing to do what he asks us to do? That means you don't fornicate. You don't smoke weed. You don't party. You don't, you know, do these things. We do this because we love Jesus, not because of works. It is about love. It is about loving Jesus enough to do what he asks us to do. And I'm willing to humbly come on here and admit that. 
and I see other brothers and sisters struggle with it really bad. Brothers and sisters who say, I would die for Christ tomorrow. I would die for Christ today. I would die for Christ right now. But what? We're not willing to go up and pray for somebody. We're not willing to fast from our social media. We're not willing to fast from food for just a day. And we say we're ready. You know, and let's, I'm just going to go into prayer for us. Lord Jesus Christ, I just pray, Lord Jesus Christ, for me and all my brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ. I just pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would help us, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to love you better. Because, Lord, you died on the cross for us, and you deserve us to love you enough to obey your commands. And I just pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you would give us the strength, Lord Jesus Christ, and I rebuke all fear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that this message would encourage my brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ, to go out and spread the gospel, to face their fears, Lord. Because we love you, Lord Jesus Christ, and we want to do your will and what you want us to do, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your Holy Spirit presence right now, Lord. And I just pray for all of us, Lord, to do what you want us to do, Lord. Because times are getting so short, Lord, right now. And I just don't want me or any of my brothers and sisters lacking, Lord, for our love for you. Or our love for others, Lord. Because, Lord, it is not by our works that we are saved, but by grace, Lord. But I just pray, Lord, that we would never trample on your grace or your love, Lord. And that we would do what you command us to do because we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.